In this video, I will show you how to use the spike in Microsoft Word. What is the spike? You're gonna to have to watch to find out. So here I am in Microsoft Word, and as you can see, I'm working on a list of new wave bands from three different regions of the world. And I'm just now realizing that I've made some mistakes here. For example, a couple of these bands listed as new wave bands from the United States actually are from Europe. So I'm going to cut and paste those specific bands from the United States column and into the Europe column. Now I could certainly do this one by one, but instead I'm going to use the spike. Now when you hear that word, the spike, I want you to think of one of those little vertical spikes that you might see at a restaurant or another business where employees can put a receipt or some other paper and they just put it right there on the spike. So imagine that, and I'm gonna go here to the police and I'll click and drag to highlight the police. But instead of cutting with Control X, I'm gonna hold Control and then tap F3 on the keyboard and that cut the police. But not only did it cut the police, but it stuck it on the spike, this mysterious spike that's in Microsoft Word. Okay, let's go down here to a flock of seagulls. I'll click and drag to highlight the name of this fantastic new wave band. I'll hold control on the keyboard and tap F3. And so now I've cut a flock of seagulls and put the name of that band on the spike. Finally, let's do the same thing with Echo and the Bunnymen. Click and drag to highlight. I'll hold control and tap F3. So I have cut three different bands from the United States list of new wave bands. Now normally when you do a cut, the content of that cut is put on what's called the clipboard. You actually can look at the clipboard, and if you want to learn how to do that, watch my other video on that topic. But in this case, we're not just cutting and using the clipboard. We are cutting and putting those words on the spike. Okay, what's the benefit of this? Look, I'm gonna go here to the Europe column and click, and then I'm going to paste everything that's currently on the spike. So I'll hold Control, hold Shift this time, and then tap F3, and the police, a flock of seagulls, and Echo and the Bennymen are all pasted where my cursor was. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit, just deleting the blank row, and now I've got a much better list. I'll delete this row as well. And so I hope you can see the benefits of using the spike. Instead of cutting and pasting one item at a time, why not cut three, five, ten different items all at once and then paste them all at once? You can do that with the spike. Now what if there was a band that was both, let's say, from the United States and also from Europe? One example of that, I believe, is the band Red Flag. This band's debut album came out toward the end of the New Wave era, and the band members were living in the United States, but my understanding is that they were born in the UK. So we could put them in both categories. And another example of that is the Pretenders. I believe they had one member of the band from the UK and one from the US. So in this case, I don't want to cut these two bands and then paste them. I want to copy them and paste them. So let's look at how to do that using the spike. If I click and drag to highlight the pretenders, I can hold control, tap F3 to cut the pretenders. But I don't really want to cut them. So I'm gonna hold control and tap Z to undo that. And then I'm gonna move on to red flag. I'll click and drag to highlight red flag. I'll hold control, tap F3. Now I've cut red flag, but I don't really want to do that. So I'll hold control and tap Z. That seems kind of pointless, cutting and then undoing the cut. But now that I've done that for both the pretenders and red flag, I'm going to go down here to the bottom of my Europe list. I'll hold control, hold shift and tap F3. And look, even though I didn't fully cut these two bands, I am still able to paste them using the spike. And I'll just take out that blank row. So as you're working in Microsoft Word, I hope that you'll remember that you have access to the spike. You can use it at any time to cut multiple items or even temporarily cut them and then restore them, but then paste them all at once into one location. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider joining this channel as a member. I would love to have you as part of our community. You'll get some special perks, including access to my behind the scenes members only podcast. You can also support the channel by clicking the thanks button below the video. You can support me through Patreon or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about all of those options in the description below the video.